रेणुका रेणुका द कैमरा स्टिल रोलिंग माय गॉश इज दिस अ कार और इज दिस अ स्पा आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव एवर बीन सो ज़ोन्ड आउट एंड इन अ बैक सीट फॉर सो लॉन्ग इन एनी अदर कार वेल टाइम फॉर मी टू गेट बैक इन एक्शन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डू जस्ट दैट With the kind of atmosphere that is created in the cabin, the S class can relax you like few others, and we'll come to all the technical explanations about it later. But for now, let's start at the very beginning of the day, shall we? Where rock, papers, and scissors decided which one of us would get the wheel and which one the back seat. And it's rare, very rare, to see me so happy to bag the back seat. But in this case, I was. Touch of a button with the chauffeur package, you can upgrade yourself to first class immediately. Okay, Nikhil, I am just so glad I won that round because this is the place to be in this car. I mean, look at me—I'm in the lap of luxury, completely comfortable back here. I'm five foot four, fully stretched out. I mean, to the max. Um, and I know Nikhil's a bit upset because I won that round, and he. like to have been the one stretched out at the back here while i was doing duty up front but i promised to let you sit here because we're going to want to see how it is for someone as tall as him at the back as well and we'll show you that but as for me i'm in ultra luxury 6 foot tall nikhil could also make the most of the seat at its max stretched position however at its forward most position the front passenger seat blocks the view of the left side mirror for the driver so you'd want to keep it a bit back so you waft along in this cocoon of silence in this lovely refined cabin and the ride as expected is supple keeps you extremely comfortable at low speeds the s class ferries you over imperfect surfaces without a flutter However, the first 150 cars which are CBU come with lower profile tires and that does change things up when you pick up the pace. I think these low profile tires on the CBU version let it down a bit because you know you expect that pillowy ride from the Maybach and S class that I remember and the road imperfections filter through a little more into the cabin than one would expect. Now apart from that it's like being in your living room I've got you know a skylight with this massive panoramic sunroof I can put the blinds down and have this nice massive window or I can just stream something and watch it on the television set or the tablet that's right in front of me yes you can now stream anything uh via these ports over here you can plug in your fire stick Uh there's a C port for charging as well. For the mini HDMI ports or using a USB to type C adapter, you can plug in your Fire Stick or internet dongle as you like. Using this, you can stream your favorite OTT platforms and kick back and relax and binge watch as if this was your home theater on a long drive. You can use the internet too. Might I suggest that you stream YouTube, watch the Autocar India channel and while you're there, subscribe to it too. There are myriads of functions at the touch of a button. Climate control, opening the sunroof, adjusting the blinds, all can be done via controls in the back seat. And while I am on these buttons, I must mention that the seat adjust controls are now capacitive. So they don't have the click and move feel that they did have earlier. I'm not a fan of this change. It's just less intuitive and you have to often touch the button in 3 or 4 areas to get the right seat adjustment. There is enough storage in the back seat and in the central armrest which can be lifted if you want to seat an extra passenger. But the back seat is really meant for two and it's better to have it down. There is storage behind the armrest as well and in the armrest there's also a tablet which you can use to surf the net or access some of the controls. The screens fitted behind the front seats offer a wider range of access to the car's control than the tablet does. Here's a quick look at all that you'll get in an S class. 
New on safety are the rear seat airbags, which are specially created in a tubular structure and use ambient air as well to inflate at the correct speed. <laughs> and if you're hard to please and nothing has still got your fancy back here, then there is a 31 speaker Burmester system which you can set up with the Energizer package to play some really zen music or, well, pumped up music if you like. And it will set the lighting to your mood and even offer you a massage. The Burmester system is now 4D, which means there are two additional tweeters fitted into the back of all four seats, which let you feel the music as it plays if you so choose. The Energizing Comfort feature creates a world that will soothe your senses using music, lighting, massage and even perfume to create an unbelievable atmosphere. And I'm going to do just that right now. And while I'm getting max relaxed, Nick Hill, who has been, I think, just checking out all the functions up front, is going to tell you more. Over to you, Nick Hill. Yeah, so I have been saving up my words because there is a lot to talk about. I can't even imagine how thick this car's physical owner's manual would be. Anyway, since I am your friendly family driver for the day, I'll talk of the juicy tech bits later in the review. First, I'll tell you what the car is like. Now, with us is the S400D. It gets a 3-litre straight-six Mercedes diesel engine. 330 horsepower, 700 Newton meters of torque. This S400D gets all wheel drive a standard and on a rainy day like this, you will appreciate the added safety net of the system. First things first, this is an S-Class, so it's more about how quiet it is than how quick it is. The cabin is just so serene. There's minimal outside noise to disturb your hotshot passenger's train of thought on that next big business idea. Now for the engine. Now it's a really cultured unit. You won't really hear it all that much. Even when you extend it, there's a noise, but it's far away into the distance. Mind you, this is the diesel. Mercedes also has the S450 petrol that promises to be quieter still. Incredible. Also special is the way the S-Class builds speed. Performance as you'd expect in an S-Class is absolutely effortless. But poke the throttle pedal a bit more and the S will reveal its punchy side and really, really takes off. The 9-speed gearbox also goes up and down the gears so fluidly, you really can't tell when the gear changes. In fact, the whole setup is so smooth and so seamless. Mames Hub at the back won't really know how quick I'm going. We couldn't quite get the S400D to match Merck's claimed 5.4 second 0 to 100 kph time. Still, the 6.9 second time for the Sprint 200 kph is really brisk for a car so large. So, sorry to use the cliche, but you'll never be late for that meeting at the boardroom. Corners on your route, no problem there either. Now the S-Class is a large, large car and of course it's comfort oriented. But the big surprise is that it's rather nice to drive too. Body control, even with the suspension at its softest setting is quite nice. And there's a good amount of feel and connection at the steering wheel. It feels well weighted and you can actually enjoy your Sunday drives in this car. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The S-Class will be driven primarily in slow-moving traffic and on occasion on the highway. And honestly, it can be stressful to drive such a large car on our chaotic roads. The sense of calm inside sure helps, but there's also a lot more Mercedes has packed in to ease life for the person at the wheel. Four-wheel steering isn't a novel feature anymore in this class of luxury car. And as on other applications, what it does is helps high-speed stability, increases agility. But in the India scheme of things, the biggest difference it makes is when you have to take a U-turn in something that is 5.3 meters long. The rear wheels can turn up to 4.5 degrees and Mercedes claims this reduces this long wheelbase S-Class's turning circle by almost 2 meters. What also helps life for the one behind the wheel 
are the advanced driver assistant systems. Now the S-Class boasts a 360 degree camera, five radars and 12 ultrasonic sensors. And with that, you get a whole host of assistant systems. You get lane keep assist, you get blind spot warning, there's adaptive cruise control and also emergency braking. The features work well, but in our unpredictable driving environment are also best thought of as an additional safety net only. I sense drivers will be reaching out for the suspension race control more often than those for the ADAS functions. The S-Class has a vast wheelbase, I think that's a fair term to use for the S-Class and what that means is that you have to be very careful over speed breakers. You have the option to raise the suspension and that does help a bit, but every now and then you will have the S's belly scrape the road and that sound is quite painful. Thankfully, that's not something my industrialist boss for the day, Renuka, hears. Soon enough, I understand why. Renuka? Renuka? The camera's still rolling. Oh gosh, is this a car or is this a spa? I don't think I have ever been so zoned out and in a back seat for so long in any other car. Well, time for me to get back into action and I am going to do just that while you tell everyone about the tech up front. Where the interiors of former S-Classes were a mix of old and new, this latest gen S-Classes interior is properly tech laden and cutting edge. There are touch surfaces on the steering wheel. You also have a swipe controller for the sunroof. Of course, there's the 12.3 inch customizable uh, digital display. To quickly cut in, the screen has a 3D display option that adds depth to what you see. To be honest, it's a bit gimmicky, it made me feel uneasy and cross-eyed and I reverted back to the standard mode. But the centerpiece in the S-Class's new age cabin is this 12.8 inch touchscreen. The portrait-oriented touchscreen is your go-to control for virtually all infotainment and car settings, doing away with the need for as many as 27 physical buttons. On the flip side, incorporating simple functions such as temperature adjust on the screen isn't ideal. The voice commands also get tripped on Indian accents. You will be most comfortable using the screen at a standstill. It's fairly easy to get the hang of the screen layout and haptic feedback helps usability. Cool features include fingerprint recognition for your settings profile. The OLED display is brilliant and the graphics are top class. All the functions are super fast, it's super slick, but then of course this is an S-Class so there has to be more. Quality tops the list, everything is just impeccably put together. You'll find the finest quality of materials here. The front seats are honestly no less than thrones and each of the seats get 10 different types of massage options. Speaking of resting and relaxing, uh... There is a lot of tech in this car and earlier on I did speak to you about the Energizer package but let me explain it in detail. What it does is it combines the music, the mood lighting around the LED strip which is the active strip around the car and the massage functions in your seat to give you a really spa-like experience. There are a number of settings that you can choose from uh, and if I choose refresh you will see immediately and I put it for the left seat, the lighting changes, my seat, the cooling has come on, you can notice that over here as well and I've set the music low for the moment because I'm talking to you but it comes on with really zen, calming, ocean sound music as well. And if you enjoy tech like me, you'll enjoy the little simple things that it does as well. Like for example, if I cool the car down more, it flashes a blue light. And if I warm the car up, I get a red light flashing through the strip. 
So yeah, that is a pretty cool bit in this car. There are 250 LEDs that go around this top strip, which is the active strip in the car. Another interesting function that it does have is if there's a car coming up behind me in the blind spot, it will flash red to warn me not to open the door as well. So there's a safety feature tucked into that as well. Now, while Nikhil and me sum up the car, you guys pop outside and see how it looks. The latest S-Class, sold in India only in long wheelbase form, is marginally longer and wider than the last model. So, it's a big, big car. In look, it's regal as you'd expect an S to be, but the first lot of cars also get the AMG line styling kit, so there's a degree of sportiness here too. The 20-inch rims in particular are eye-catching. Of the other things, the headlights feature ultra-range high beam that can illuminate up to 650 meters ahead. The flush-fitted door handles pop out when you're near the car. To talk practicality, you get a usable boot, though it isn't the largest. You do get a spare tire that sits under the floor in a dedicated compartment. So that's what the new S-Class is like. All that's pending is to tell you the figure you'll need to put on the check. The S-Class is fully imported and fully spec launch edition has been priced at 2.17 crore for the S400D and 2.19 crore for the S450. Relatively more affordable, locally assembled versions of the S-Class will come later in the year. So should you say yes to the S? The arrival of a new S-Class is always a big event in the automotive world because what you see on this car is what other cars get in the years to come and this S-Class gets you a whole lot of stuff. And that whole lot of stuff is really truly impressive. I mean on almost every front this car really wows you. There was one thing, however, that we did point out earlier, and that is that it lets the road filter a little more through to the passengers than one would expect in this car. But apart from that, it is meant for royalty. And the tech, you can geek out on that too. The S-Class has long been the benchmark of luxury sedans, and it looks like it's going to continue that tradition. I have one oh minute. God, what are these I have one minute in my card. Huh? I have one minute in my card. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Now, Renuka, can I please go back home on the back seat? With pleasure. Thank you. Shall I open the door for you? <laughs> please. I. Betty. Thank you. Thank you.